Hey, Sean here from Core SWX. Since the launch of the Helix series at NAB 2019, the response has been incredible. And one of the most common questions we receive is, should I invest now or wait until I need the higher voltage capabilities? So on today's Core Minute, we're gonna break down the differences between the Helix 9 and its standard voltage sibling, the HyperCore 9 Mini. As mentioned, the Helix line has taken the cinema industry by storm, and we're having a hard time keeping up with the demand at the moment. But rest assured, we'll catch up very soon. On this minute, I'll discuss the differences between the Helix 9 and the HyperCore Mini, and why now might be a good time to invest in a Helix if you're considering buying new or more battery packs but don't need the high voltage feature just yet. One of the obvious glaring differences is Core's next generation runtime LCD featured on the Helix. This high resolution onboard LCD provides the utmost transparency on battery capacity, runtime, charge time, and whether the HV output mode is activated. Secondly, Helix charges on all your current charging stations. It's standard V-mount and Gold mount, so in any standard voltage environment, you'll see no difference in function between the Helix 9 and the HyperCore Mini 9. They both function identically. Third, the Helix 9 doesn't have a USB, as we needed some extra space within the shell to allow for the high voltage circuitry. The good news, however, is that you still have a D-tab on the top of the Helix pack, which outputs standard voltage even when the pack is outputting high voltage to the main terminals. This is ideal for when you need to power something like an RELF, yet still need to power an onboard monitor or transmitter. Fourth, RFID is built into the Helix 9. This allows you to quickly review your battery's vitals by simply placing your phone over the battery with our app. So should you invest now? We've seen a huge demand for the Helix packs for lighting applications. Keep in mind that when powering high power draw lighting at higher voltage levels, it reduces the amount of current needed from the battery. Less current means less strain and heat from the battery, which extends operational service life. We recently came out with a sky panel and a C-stand battery bracket to better address high power, high voltage LED lighting applications. So the advantage of using Helix in this application is that you don't need to use inefficient DC boosters, which put more wear and tear on your 14 volt packs. Camera wise, Ari has already stated that the next iteration of cameras in 2020 will be high voltage operable only. So again, if you're considering a new battery purchase, you may want to look closely at the minimal price difference and buy the Helix. If you're not using high voltage equipment yet, you can still use the Helix to complement your current fleet of battery packs. And once you invest in a new high voltage camera, you just need the mount plate to get up and running. So the packs will work on both high voltage equipment and standard voltage equipment. Hope this information was useful to you. And if you've got any questions about the Helix or the HyperCore packs or about any of our products, send us an email at theminute at coreswx.com. Thanks for watching. See you next time.